What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Rococo mocap animations to work with Unreal Engine 5 using the Mannequin and MetaHuman Skeleton. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. First of all, we need to of course have our mocap recorded using the Rococo suit. Now, this Rococo suit is probably the best way to achieve AAA motion capture at home without the need of cameras and sensors in every angle. It's powered by Wi-Fi which allows a very easy setup and animation recording. In this case, I used the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2, the Smart Gloves and the Head Rig for facial animation. If you use my code RKKGORKA5, you'll get a 5% of discount from your entire order. So the link is in the description. So I got my mockup recorded in Rococo Studio. So let's see how we can use it in Unreal Engine 5. The first thing that we need to do is export the animation. So in this case, I want to export this specific clip 3. If I double click this, I can preview it and I can just play this little animation that I basically recorded. <laughs> Pretty fun, right? All right, let's go back over here and let's go into the export settings. Now, what we can do is select what clips we want to export with this checkboxes over here. So for example, if I want to export more than one click, I can just go ahead and put this over here. And now we have a list of all the clips that we want to export. In my case, I want to disable this two because I only want to export one clip, but of course you decide. Now, very important, the file format needs to be FBX, as this is what Unreal Engine will use, and we can pretty much leave everything as default, okay? So meshes will be enabled, facial data will be enabled, you know, the file format for the FBX binary, this preview version will work, and then frame rate will, you know, depending on your use, right? Typically for filmmaking and game dev animations, 30 FPS will work just fine, but of course, you can decide on this. And of course, we could also extract root motion or something similar, but in my case, I will leave all this as default. Now, the only thing that we need to change is this override skeleton mesh option. So let's go ahead and tick this, and now we can essentially choose from a preset. In my case, I am going to be picking this Manny for Unreal Engine 5, right, which is the one that we want to use. Now, we also have the option to export to the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton if you want. But in my case, I'm gonna just select the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton. You also have Mixamo and other iClone and uh, you know, skeletons to basically choose from. But of course, let's select Unreal Engine 5, which is what we want. And now we can just go down, select a path where we want to save this new you know, animation or list of animations if you select the multiple and just click on export clips. And then we can just wait a few seconds and we should have it. Cool. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Unreal Engine 5.4 project opened and I'm using the third person template. And I'm using this template in order to have the specific mannequin skeleton and mesh as you can see. On top of that, I also have the Unreal Engine 4 one if you want that too as well. Now, in your case, if you already have a project created and you don't have this third person template, what you can do is go into add feature or content pack, go into blueprint and select the third person template. And that way we can just add it to the project and have this meshes as well. Anyway, with that said, now it is time to import the animation. So I'm gonna go where I have it in my folder and just drag it into the content browser. The first thing I want to make sure is that everything is set to default. So let's click on reset to default and we're just, you know, making sure that we are on the same page. With that said, now let's go ahead and disable import mesh because we already have a mesh inside of our project. Then let's go ahead and pick up the skeleton. In this case, we want to make sure that it is the SK mannequin under the following path. Game, characters, mannequins, and meshes. Okay, this is the one that comes with the third person template. Now, if you're using the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton, you have the SK mannequin skeleton, which you know comes from the following path. Game, characters, mannequin UE4, meshes, okay? In this case, of course, we're gonna make sure that we select the SK mannequin from this path. So let's go ahead and select this. Now, pretty much everything needs to be just set to default. Animation length, export time, all this is overall set to default. Now, if you had a facial animation like me, just make sure that delete more of targets is disabled, okay? With that said, we're good to go. Just click on import or import all, but you had multiple clips, it doesn't really matter. 
and let's wait a few seconds and boom here we go we have the rococo animation and then we can go ahead and open this up and there we go we have it on manny which is so cool right <laughs> this literally took two seconds which is really, really impressive right so essentially now we can literally just drag this into our level and there we go we have our you know queen here playing our rococo animation that we imported in literally two seconds which is literally insane now let me show you how we can you know add this into a meta human and also have facial animations Okay, so what I have done is imported a metahuman skin you have here. It's basically my own replication, pretty much. <laughs> Not with facial scanning, but similar, you know? All right, and the first thing that I want to make sure is go to the lot sync component and just make sure that the force LOD, okay, is set to zero. So that means that it will not change depending on the, you know, distance from the camera. So it will not like this will groom and things like that. You know, just making sure that everything is tuned in. And then I'm gonna just delete this one from the level and just drag in my blueprint okay and we can just place it over here and there we go we have our meta human over here now in order to play the animation what we need to do is we target our you know animation to the meta human skeleton right they're very similar so it's going to be very easy to do this because we are also going to take advantage of the new retargeting system in unreal engine 5.4 so for this let's go ahead and find in our animation okay but first of all we need to identify what mesh we're using in this case, the main skeleton is under the body. So under the body, you can see that we have this M underscore mid normal body. Okay, kind of medium normal body, whatever it stands by, right? So we just need to go into our, you know, animation uh, of Rococo, right click and go into the retarget animations option. Now we will be prompt with this menu. So this is the source, right? We are going to be using the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, but then our target will be the one that we just saw, which is M underscore medium normal body. Okay, this is the one that we are choosing. Make sure that it's the same one as we saw in the blueprint. With that said, now we can just find our Rococo animation, right? Double click on it and we can preview it, which looks pretty, pretty insane. Now, you might notice that we don't have a head or anything like that. Don't worry, this will be added later on in the sequence. So now we can just say export animations, select where, let me just put it on their content. Okay, export and boom, here we go. So let me just add an MH of MedHuman and we have it over here. Cool. So now we actually have a body, but there's no facial features and things like that, right? Don't worry. What we need to do is basically create a level sequence. So let's go up into here level sequence and let's name this something is use sequence one okay so now we have this new timeline you can also access it through here okay under uh, cinematics sequencer and what we need to do is simply you select our you know blueprint meta human from our level and drag it into this area okay and we are essentially adding this actor into our timeline and we can play animations and things like that first of all let's go back to the selection mode we don't want to be in this weird animation mode and let's just make this a bit bigger right and let's just make sure that two things are done first of all the meta human control rig needs to be deleted and also very very importantly the face control rig board has to be also deleted because if not this will go ahead and override our facial animation okay and we don't want that we want to use the one that we exported with rococo okay Cool, with that said, the only thing left is to go to the body section, click on this add track, animation, and find here our Rococo and MH. And when we drag it in and press play, boom, we are going ahead and playing our Rococo animation with our MetaHuman with also facial animation, which is literally insane. <laughs> this is literally so, so cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you can use Rococo in your own projects and use them with Unreal Engine 5. With many humans or just the default skeleton, it doesn't really matter. So that's it guys, remember that you can get your Rococo suit using my code RKK underscore Gorka5 to get a 5% of discount in your order. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.